What's going on, folks? And this is yet another vlog on Napalm 2009. This is going to be another vlog, of course, because I just said that. And um, what is it going to be about? Uh, it's going to be about lifestyle. It's going to be about lifestyle because, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Um, if you uh, want to lead a particular life, if you want to lead lead like like a lifestyle that is meant for you, you have to be able to control your lifestyle and know what kind of lifestyle you want to live. So, this is what this vlog is going to be dedicated to. It's going to be dedicated to talk about lifestyle. That's what it's going to talk about. So, um, you know, how do you start? How do you start with lifestyle? You start by, number one, acknowledging the kind of lifestyle you can afford. That's, that's, that's number one. If you want to live a lifestyle that is um, like, uh, you know, James Bond, or if you want to live like, you know, Bruce Wayne or something like that, more than likely, you are going to be not upset, but you are going to be disappointed because most of us cannot afford to live, uh, can't afford to live like a Tony Stark or can't afford to live like an Elon Musk, you know, can't afford to live like uh, Bill Gates. But that's what we all want to do. We all want to have a different car drive every day, you know, different clothes, <coughs> <coughs> different, uh, Th different you know we want to have all these different you know rooms in the house and stuff like that so but what you want to do is you want to focus on what it is you know you can't afford so you you it's it's okay to dream though it's okay to dream because without a dream you don't really have any real ambition or goals you know if you dream small you'll just be like yeah okay you know, I'll just, I'll just content with just, you know, living, just draw one car. Like, nah, man. You know, it's, it's, it's cool to dream, but you have to be um, somewhat realistic with your dream. You know what I'm saying? You have to be realistic with, with, with your dream. So, and I, I think I talked about that on a vlog uh, before. You know, you got to start off realistic. You know what I'm saying? So that you can eventually achieve a bigger dream. But um, yeah. So you know, we all want to live Bruce Wayne, but uh, you know, uh, you know Tony Stark, you know Elon Musk and stuff like that. But um, yeah, you know, uh, and it's cool too to want to be Bruce Wayne and Elon Musk. But you know, you can't you know spend Bruce Wayne money and you're on a McDonald's payroll, or you know what I'm saying you can't. Uh, think that you're living like Tony Stark and you only work at Amazon or something like that. Like you have to kind of, <clears throat> you have to keep dreaming as you stack your money. You know what I'm saying? So you can't, uh, you can't like jump ahead too far. Like it's cool to, like I say, you know, if you save a couple paychecks, let's say if you uh, stacked, you know, a couple of paychecks, and I think that was like some serious fireworks or gunshots. I don't know. Thought I was in a safe location. Um, right. So yeah, let's say you are. Um, what was I saying? Right, stacking. So yeah, if you're stacking your money, and let's say you get like different paychecks, and you save. Let's say you you know you get a job. You know you work yourself out the hole. Okay, so now you know you work yourself out the hole. Okay, cool. You know what I'm saying you work yourself out the hole. You are out of the hole. You know, you don't have to worry about anything as far as paycheck-wise, as far as, um, you know, money-wise. You don't have to worry about any of that. And the reason why is because you stacked it. You kept stacking it, and you didn't give up on what you were stacking. So, you got about, you've been working, you got your rent paid up a couple months. You know, you got your car note paid up a couple months. You got your phone bill paid up a couple months. You know, and let's say you got six months paid up. Let's say you got your rent six months paid up. You got your car note, you know, paid up six months. You got your phone, got your mobile phone paid up six, you know, for six months. Now, let's say you are completely paid up. Let's say you paid up and let's say 
you are now walking around, right? Now, everything you get, it, it just sits in your account. It sits in your checking account. And you either scoot it over to your savings account or you either scoot it over to, like, somewhere where you can save and watch it stack up. Whether you like to watch your money stack in a shoebox or if you like to put it into a uh, savings account or if you like to do, you know, whatever it is you like to do. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it is you like to do with your money, you know, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you're doing that. Now, let's say you like, man, look, I got just... 5G's, man, just sitting in my account. You know what I'm saying? I'm wearing holy shoes. You know what I'm saying? I'm living in this crumbtastic house. You know what I'm saying? I got these low-life computers. You know, they work, but, you know, I wish I had a bigger screen. I got this small TV. I got this little 32-inch TV. Man, it's cool to splurge a little bit. Keyword, little. Okay? Make sure you don't go nuts and get the 82-inch QLED and spend a $1,000. No. All right, control your dream. All right, which means you work your way up to what you want to get in your life. You don't just splurge when you get, you know, a couple extra thousand dollars in your account. That's where a lot of us go wrong at. We all just splurge immediately. Like, you know, we'll see like, you know, two or three thousand and be like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now I'll get this PS5. I'll get this QLED. I'll get these, get these shoes. I'm like, like, no, 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 you can't do that. You can't do that. You have to chill out and get an upgrade upgrade yourself to your budget you know what i'm saying so you know um so it's all about the money that you're working with and that's kind of hard to do because when you have a certain budget and you see like other people walking around with the with their budgets and you see there you know they got different jobs and they working with different incomes and stuff like that that can get really hard you know what I'm saying? And you could be like, man, dude, I, I just want to, you know, I wish I was driving a BMW. I wish I was driving a Mercedes. You know, I got this Toyota. I got this Corolla. So you can definitely be uh, in, enticed, but enticed, but you have to be disciplined enough to understand the bigger, the bigger lifestyle, the bigger picture that you want to get to. You know what I'm saying? You have to have your own dream, like on lock to the point where you like yeah man you know what i already know what i want to do you know i'm disciplined in this i see all these other people with nice stuff that's cool but i know in a couple years i already know what i want to do you know what i'm saying i already know you know where i want to go i already know you know the neighborhood i want to live in i already know the kind of car i want to drive i already know the kind of lifestyle i want to live so you have to be patient with what you are achieving all right, you can't want to achieve it right now. Like, like, let's say right now you live in the hood, all right, but you want to live like Beverly Hills right now. It's probably stupid. Okay, it's probably dumb. All right, you know, you might want to stack up for a couple years and actually move to Beverly Hills. You know what I'm saying? Stack up for about five, ten years and actually move out to California. I think that's where Beverly Hills is. I think is Beverly Hills in California. I don't know. But yeah, man. Um, or work your way up, you know, move out the hood, go to a slightly better neighborhood. Okay, if you think that's not enough, move up to another neighborhood. Okay, that's not enough, move up to another. So you have to do it according to what you can achieve. You can't just cheat yourself and cheat your cheat yourself out of your real lifestyle, you know. So, but yeah, you know, um, that's like kind of like, I guess, a couple pointers a couple uh, thoughts about uh, being kind of realistic about achieving your lifestyle, you know what I'm saying? And um, now I guess I can talk about the different achievements in a lifestyle as far as, you know, if you are a person who uh, wants to go for like a different lifestyle, you live one lifestyle, you want to go for a different one. That's cool too, but what you have to realize is, is you have to be once again realistic. You know, um, like I say, if you live in Beverly Hills and you want to be, you want to live a Compton, LA thug lifestyle, or you want to live like you know a Harlem, New York thug lifestyle, it's probably not. You know what I'm saying? Nah. Now the thing is, what that is, 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 you know. Once again, it's it's called keeping it real. You know, you have to you have to be realistic. You know, um, 
like I say, you can do that, but it's not like the best decision because it's like, okay, you can do that, but it's going to be people looking at you like, we live in Beverly Hills. Like, do, I don't think you know what we do in Beverly Hills. You know what I'm saying? We have a certain code of conduct here. You know, we don't do all that loud stuff here. We don't do a lot of that activity. You know, we keep it pretty quiet. Now, not to say Beverly Hills is, you know, 100% safe and you know beverly hills is 100 percent crime free like nah it's just that um beverly hills is beverly hills and oakland is oakland and, and harlem is harlem and you know all of that stuff so it, like you have to know what you want to do so it's like no matter how much sometimes it's like no matter what amount of money you make you have to be able to be real about what you're doing and the kind of lifestyle you are living you know like you know the money you making doesn't decide who you are and what kind of life you live so let's say like like i say if you live in oakland but you want to live like beverly hills well good luck will keep stacking and want to go to beverly hills you know what i'm saying if you want to keep stacking and going to beverly hills that's what you want to do if you live in the living if, if you are living in beverly hills and you want to live like a thug if that's the lifestyle you choose by all means go live in oak you know what i'm saying if, if if beverly hills is too bored for you if, if if it's not enough you know rigmarole sometimes you know some people was born in a in the trenches you know born in the hood and you know they move out to the ritzy white neighborhood or they move out to the ritzy where all the asians live at you know or they move to all the ritzy black people and you know where people don't do nothing or it's not a lot of noise the neighborhood is like a regular neighborhood and they get bored, you know what I'm saying? They're like, man, ain't nothing ever going on here. There ain't no parties here. Oh, uh, you know, blah, blah, blah. So it's like, and and, 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 and what's crazy is, is you can't really, um, like, take that kind of lifestyle to that kind of suburb because that suburb is already set in a certain code of conduct. So it'd be kind of hard for you to say, okay, well, let, well, let me, you know, you know, continue to live my hood life in in the suburb. It's like, nah, it's like that's not gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, you know, make sure you kind of know what you want to do, and once you achieve it, at that point, there's nothing but going out and getting it, going out and getting it. Uh, you know, making sure that you're ready to get it. And once you get it, you will know what you want to do with it. <sighs> Man, then you got different people in your lifestyle too. Now, this the funny one, all right? Because different people might want to join into your lifestyle, but different people might not be ready to join into your lifestyle. Like for instance, if you are a, like me, all right, let's use me. Now, I am primarily into technology. I am primarily into Video games, internet, computers, graphics, software, hardware. That's what I'm into, all right? That's what I primarily do. I don't really be all tough in the streets, in the hood, all right? Not to say I'm a stranger to all of that, but that's not primarily what I do. My primary thing is to work on, you know, making things work, all right? If it's like, if you got a computer, you got a problem with it, I'll work on it all day. You know, you give me the fee, I'll work on it. You know what I'm saying? If there's somebody got an iPod that they dropped and I can repair the screen, if it's not that complicated, I will definitely repair the screen, all right? Like, that's the stuff I do. But let's say I run into somebody who's just in the streets tough all day. Like, they know zilch about, you know, um, anything that I do. You know what I'm saying? They don't know nothing about emails. They don't know anything about... Um, you know google you know yahoo uh facebook like they don't know nothing about none of that okay that all they know is the streets all day every day that's all they do they be in the street they don't ever go in the house like they got somewhere to live but they just don't be in the house like they literally don't know a life in the house all they know is outside all day every day now that would be kind of tough to try to match with somebody as far as a lifestyle you know what I'm saying? And, and the reason why I say that is because when you try to match with lifestyles with somebody, it's like y'all got to click somewhere. And unless she got a lot of 
technology for me to work with or unless he got a lot of technology or whoever it is, you know, and, and it's, the, it's the same with me. Like, if I don't have no connections in the streets for these people, like, you got to be able to match with people to a certain extent. I'm trying not to shake this phone so much because I know it can look like, like I said, the rumble feature on the, you know, phone can look like an earthquake volcano. But, um, yeah, so anyway, uh, yeah, you know, if, you know, and it's, it's the same way, you know, not the other way around, you know, if you meet somebody who is, who work, like I said, I brought up the uh, construction worker last time, and all they do is work, you know, primarily construction all day long, and let's say you work as a librarian at the office, that's two different lifestyles. One person is physical all day, all they do is use their body all day, their muscles all day all day long so all they do is use their muscles all day you know sorry for the jerk off shadow that was a complete accident but all they do is use their body all right waist legs hind legs back lower back that's all they do all day is use their muscles all day so this person that's a librarian is like is it's it's not like the librarian is off of their feet all day but they they're not as physical you know what I'm saying? They're more um they're more on the remember. They have like a, it's, it's it's more of their job to remember where things are, to be on hand with the information, to know how to use the software that's on the laptop to find the book or to find the references that you're looking for. So those lifestyles are hard to mesh together, you know, so um that's a little bit on that. Like you have to be like prepared to really dig into that kind of zone man and a lot of times people think it's easy you know they think money is just the answer they're like oh yeah as long as i make the money yeah you know i could just go out here and i could just you know you know acquire a lifestyle like nah you have to do what's meant for you you know what i'm saying if you work construction every day be prepared to pretty much be a homebody because <laughs> you're gonna need a lot of rest <laughs> like if you work a physical job you are going to need a lot of rest you know what i'm saying believe me when i tell you you're going to need so much sleep because your body is physical. And if you're a librarian, be prepared to want to live a quiet kind of life. You know, you don't have a lot of noise at, at you know, where you work. You know, you want to, you know, give your brain a rest. You want to give your mind a rest from remembering all of that information and from remembering all of that, you know, how to use that software to find the references. Be prepared to want a quieter life. Um, but yeah. And then also, you have to find a lifestyle that's not meant for you, but what works for you. Because not even what's meant for you will work for you. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you could be like, yo, man, you know, I was, you know, you know, I was raised in the street, you know, so this lifestyle meant for me. I was meant to be in the street. Like, nah. Sometimes you can be, like, born and raised in the street, but you will find out that quickly you weren't meant to be just in the street you know what i'm saying you'll find out quickly like yeah dude okay i was born in the street but i found out there's way more opportunities it's other stuff that's calling out and it ain't necessarily got to be college and then, you know it ain't necessarily got to be you know always you know educational focus it ain't always got to be job focus even though a lot of more than likely times it's probably going to be educational focus all right there's not i mean besides finding out a little bit more or besides making a little bit more money there's not a lot to do now the other thing that's out there is connections it's people you know what i'm saying and those people can see what you do they say okay he was in the street for x amount of years okay well you know he did this you know he he, he did this kind of trouble for x amount of years okay well i see what this young man can probably do with himself okay well i see what this young man can probably do okay i see his skill set all right so he's not just in the street just wanting to be in the street he's not glorifying the streets or anything like that he's not acting like the streets is you know numero uno you know what i'm saying he's he's not just you know, capping in, just, you know, false fronting and acting like, yeah, man, these streets is where it's at. No, he's doing it because that's his means of eating. That's his means of what he does. That's what, that's, that, that, that's the life he knows. And I'm pretty sure if I put something in front of him, that's better that'll feed him or that's better that'll give him, you know, that'll give his brain something to rotate to, he'll probably take to it. So there's people that can look at you and see different opportunities and see different things within 
what you do every day. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, that'll feed into your lifestyle. That can change your lifestyle. You know, sometimes, you know, you can be, like I said, used to being out in the street. And, you know, you could be used to, you know, doing whatever you was doing. Like I said, some people sell drugs. Some people sell their body. Some people sell whatever they got. Some people just be out in the street just begging. Some people be, you know, doing whatever they can, man. Like I said, just looking for any way to make ends meet. You know what I'm saying? But, and there's nothing. Because the job don't want you. You don't have no skills. You know, um, education don't want you. Because your brain, your mind, you can't focus at a certain level. Because your mind is already to a certain point. So it's like education is not, it's not out the window. But it's not the greatest you can't look to education to feed you because, you know what I'm saying, you need a certain level of coordinates. You need a certain level of being able to talk to people and being able to conversate with people and understand people and converse with people and get people to see your vision and share visions with people. You won't be able to do any of that if your mind isn't online. I like there's no way you can talk to somebody if you don't know what they're talking about. Like if they don't feel like you, you you're on their level. If, if, if you don't feel like you can talk to them comfortably without dropping off the subject or feeling like you don't know what you're talking about or losing track of what you were talking about, there's nothing that you'll be able to do. You know what I'm saying? Because you'll be like, well, I tried. Well, I wasn't lying. But you have to be able to hang in there with these people because they won't trust you. You know what I'm saying? So, but, um, yeah, you know, um. Yeah, that's like the best thing you can do. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but your life and your style is pretty much what you are. And a lot of times, like with the internet, you know, it's a lot of people that's portraying certain lifestyles, man. You know, they're acting this and that. But, you know, when they at home, they doing X, Y, Z. You know, then it's that stuff too. Then you got stuff like, okay, people who want to live a certain lifestyle but they can't, like I said, afford it, or that lifestyle is not really for them, or they think they're able to do it up until certain, you know, repercussions start happening and stuff like that. You know, like with me, right? Like with me. I enjoy, I've been, like I said, I like to write uh, rap, hip hop music. I like to do rap, hip hop music. I never took it seriously. I never took it to the studio. I never took it as seriously to get signed or nothing like that. But I just know, all right, like sometimes you got to be smart. I just know what the repercussions are between actually doing rap as a hobby and living rap. I didn't mean to shake the phone on hobby. I almost dropped the phone. But living rap as a hobby, I'm sorry, doing rap as a hobby and actually living rap. All right, which means you live in rap music. Like, if you live in rap music, man, that man, you probably having sex with multiple women. Probably got guns and weapons because you scared somebody going to come after you. Probably sell drugs because you probably too impatient for a job. Probably pay a thousand, two thousand, three thousand dollars on clothes because you got to keep a certain image. See, and that's living rap. Like, with me, it was a hobby. All right, which means it was a passion. It was what I did. It was something I did next to... Like, it was something that I did next to, like, computers. It was something that I did next to, like, art. Like, I enjoy drawing. I enjoy just being on a computer, just seeing what the computer can do. I enjoy, like, movies. Like, movies is a hobby. You know what I'm saying? I watch the movie. I get into it. Okay, so that's what the movie's about. Nice. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so that's what the TV is about. Like, TV is a hobby. Oh, that's what the TV is about. Nice. You know what I'm saying? Like, fashion is a hobby for me. Oh, I can match this color palette. I can, I can swatch and switch these colors and see what come out of this. Put this shoe with this hat. Put this t-shirt with these jeans. Nice. Like, I just play with different hobbies. And hip-hop rap is a hobby to me. But in this generation, actually, it's been like this for probably the past two or three generations. Generations. Since, like, the 80s. Dude, hip-hop is like a lifestyle. Like, rap is a lifestyle. Like, you literally live it out what you say so it's like and i had to take that into consideration because i'm like okay what you know what i say on rap you know what i'm saying and what i'm you know what you know what i'm actually living is two totally opposite like i might rap about i don't know skateboarding off the top of tower city 
Tower City is a building that's downtown Cleveland, Ohio. It's a mall, it's offices, all kinds of places in there. Tower City, Public Square. So I might rap about uh, ollieing with my skateboard off the, t off the top of the terminal tower. Or I might rap about, I don't know, sleeping under an ice mountain or something. I don't know. I might rap about breaking into somebody. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But what you rap about and what you're living is like two totally different things. You know what I'm saying? And some people understand that. Some people don't take it to heart. They say, oh, okay, that's just rap. You can turn it off. But some people hear that and they might literally be like, oh, okay, so this dude is literally, you know what I'm saying? Wow. He literally, uh, you know, grabbed that duck and broke that duck's neck. Oh, my God. Like, dude, just because I rapped about it. But then you got to realize it's the lifestyle. Because some people's lifestyle is to believe what they hear. Everything they hear, they believe it. If it's coming off the radio, if it's coming off CNN, if it's coming off NBC, if it's coming off you know, their moms, their grandmothers, it, wherever, wherever the information is coming from, they're believing it. And that's their lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? So you got to watch it with how you live and what you can handle. So, yeah. So that's just a little bit on lifestyle. Um, I think that's really about all I had. I'm trying to see if there was anything else. I don't think there was anything else about lifestyle. Uh, yeah, man. Um. Yeah, that's what I think I'm going to keep it at. This is Napalm. Click, 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 click. This dude who needs a haircut. I never go to barbershops. I always cut my own hair. I don't ever really see a need to go to a barbershop unless, I don't know, not I'm bored or got a day off or I don't know. I just, I'm used to cutting my own hair. You know what I'm saying? Like if I go to a barbershop, it's probably because I got a free day or something like that. And I'll probably decide to go to one just to see like what they do and probably you know take some pointers and tips because it's like why not uh but yeah this is this dude leave comments in the comment area leave other topics in the topic area um and that's really it man i'm just i guess i'm gonna enjoy the rest of this day <sighs> got a big week coming up huge week coming up big changes Hopefully, like see, I passed my remedial course. I know I mentioned I had a uh, remedial class on one of the pre previous vlogs, and I passed. All right, yes, I passed the class, but I'm not licensed yet. So what I have to do is go to the BMV and take my um, retake. Actually, my um. Uh, temporary uh, driver's license class so once I take that temporary driver's license class I think I will be on to something that's when I think I'll be on to something but I should pass that with flying colors like I said with flying colors I've been doing pretty good on the uh, practice test like on the apps and stuff like that and on the computer and stuff like that so I've been doing pretty good and um, yeah you know what I'm saying so pretty confident i think i'm gonna pass that once i pass that man i'll be driving you know what i'm saying i'll be doing a lot more vlogs from the car how i used to i know i used to vlog from the car a lot had a couple different cars on this channel so but yeah what kind of car i'm gonna get it's gonna be a honda every other car that's the that's the that's that's that bleh. that's actually the only car that i haven't owned i've owned a pontiac i've owned a mazda I've owned a Chevy. I've driven a Honda, but it was a lease. It wasn't mine. I've owned a Volkswagen. I've owned a whole bunch of different cars, but never owned a Honda. All right, it's going to be a Honda. Guaranteed. It's most affordable. It's the best on gas. If a part get messed up, um, I can easily get it replaced. Like I said, good on gas. I said that. And yeah, it's a good, eight, it's a lot. It's a good point A to point B car. So I'm not tripping. All right, I'm not tripping on that. So, but, uh, yeah, so I get that done and, uh, you know, get ready for the work week, work week popping up. That's not going nowhere. Um, getting ready to see what's up with my folks. I got to call my peoples and stuff like that. See what they up to, but I'll probably have another catch up vlog or something like that. Pop up sometime soon. 
other than that, y'all just get ready. I've also been considering doing like some type of, uh, not mukbang ball vlogs, but probably mukbang, mukbang or mukbang vlogs. Cause it's not like I like to eat, but I do like to eat sometimes, man. And when I do splurge, I do splurge. And I do do certain fast food chains. All right, not all of them. I don't do all like McDonald's. Uh, man, it's not that I have anything against McDonald's. I don't have anything against McDonald's, okay? I have nothing against just that. I don't know. I like to do mom and pop shops. I like to do the shops that most people don't um, go to. I like to do the shops that most people don't recognize because, number one, they usually have the best food. And then, number two, they need the marketing and the publishing and all that before a McDonald's would. You know what I'm saying? McDonald's is like everybody already know about McDonald's. Everybody already know about Burger King. You know what I'm saying? There's no reason for me to advertise for them because you already eat. I'm pretty sure if you're on this channel or if you're doing anything, you've already had a McDonald's or a Burger King. So I'll probably do like some mom and pop mukbang. Definitely probably still do like news channels and stuff like that. Uh, not a news channel, but like a news, like news vlogs, like just vlogs about stuff that's going on in the news as of recent just to get that stuff out the way because I know it's out there and that stuff be on my mind sometimes. You know, I think about that kind of stuff. But other than that, man, just getting ready for what's to come. So if I come up with some new topics, expect some new vlogs, all right? If I come up with, a, you know, a story or if something happened, I'll probably post it. You know what I'm saying? There's usually stuff happening. Sometimes, sometimes stuff will happen. Sometimes stuff don't happen. But if it happens, I'll probably post it if it's postable, all right? Not everything that happens is for the vlog i'm just gonna say that you know what i'm saying some stuff is unexplanatory some stuff english language like words like no matter how many dictionaries you read you won't be able to talk about some of the stuff that's happening all right so i'm gonna leave that there but yeah i said this is napalm i said leave comments and i think i'm gonna end it so y'all be cool be safe and uh to the next vlog deuces